Okay, guys, so it's uh, about five in the morning, early start, and um, I've got a big bucket here out of sight at the moment, I think, of um, the big orange bucket that's casting risen. <coughs> so we've got 20 kilos in there, and we've got this uh, pot here of our um, tabletop coat. So I'm just going over, sanding this down and giving it the light sand. And then we're going to go over and put a, uh, another layer. So the layer I'm going to do here is turquoise. And then once this um, turquoise is almost set, um, I'll go over this again and just define uh, some of the waves and the wave areas. Then layers on. We cover all our um, all our pinholes. It's a bit turquoisey. Um, a lot of sites and that will tell you never use paint, never use acrylic paint in your um, resin work, but um, I find it's pretty good. I've used a lot of acrylics over the years. As long as you really mix it in well, you shouldn't have a problem. Always mix it in a small cup first, so when I add it to my main container, I can just put a small amount at a time and get it to the point that I'm happy. I'm just uh, adding this onto my white areas so I can see how it's going to pan out. Um, this is opalized wood, New Zealand opalized wood, and this comes from the, uh, a region in Auckland, uh, not too far from uh, where Ocean Groove Cruises are. So um, it's rather fitting that we get these pieces in here. This is the spirits counter, and I've just put in some pieces of obsidian, which is a natural volcanic glass that is um, all over New Zealand. 
and we've got uh, two dig sites that we go and collect this ourselves. And then on this side, on the main countertop, we've got uh, pieces of New Zealand opal. This is uh, opalized wood, and it only comes from a few places uh, around New Zealand. And we dig for this two to three times a year. Um, if anyone's interested in opalized wood, I sell it for 200 a kilo on my site. Okay guys, so um, I've done that uh, pour this morning, sealed the tops again and uh, put it in turquoise. Now, I could have actually gone a little bit deeper uh, in colour with the turquoise, but uh, I'm fairly happy with how it is at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put another layer of clear around our rocks and then I'm using um, pure alcohol ink so say five to seven mils of alcohol ink to 100 grams of um, epoxy uh, just to do a few more wave effects and breaking water effects on these two pieces then once that's done then we're going to go for the deep cars it's not uh, fully sealed, not fully hard, as you can see there, it's still quite nice and tacky, so it's really easy to um, just put this right here over the top. Okay guys, so um, the resin is getting quite tacky now, so I'm going to um, proceed and do the blood coat. this for uh, three days to set and then uh, once it's fully cured we'll um, take these out of the molds and then they'll go back out to the planning room and uh, we'll rot uh, off the uh, top part of the resin or just skim it in places um, just so we can make sure that we get both of these units the same height. Oh, and then once they're both the same height within a couple of mil, we will um, do the top coat. Uh, the only other thing I've got to do to these is when they come out of the mold, just on the outside edges, I'm just going to pack pack it out, make a new mould and uh, just so I can do the resin effects down the sides um, but yeah overall she's looking good we've got real good depth perfect clarity
Oh yeah. Check out the 3D qualities in here.